<laughs> release. <laughs> she wants to play with this. Girl, don't go in it. Just drink it. I have a pet, but I want to reduce waste. How do I do that? This is zero. She says hi. Living zero waste with a cat is kind of hard, but kind of easy too. I guess it depends on how you look at it. Um, I'm gonna first start with food. You keep zero waste. I um, buy friskies in a cardboard box. There's no bag in it. Um, and it's really easy to just uh, pour it into the bowl. It lasts two weeks, two and a half weeks for just her and she's still growing. And I do like a quarter cup two times a day um, along with her wet food, which I'll talk about in a minute. But this is the only box cat food that I've ever seen actually. I do this because it's compostable, it's recyclable, there's no plastic in the box, which is really nice. It's got like a nice little pull tab right here. Um, and I just pour it into her bowl. And then for wet food, I do Frisky's shreds. Um, I like this because it's totally recyclable. It's just an aluminum can. And then the spoon that I use to scoop it out, I actually got from a garage sale. So that's totally secondhand too, which is really nice. The Friskies, obviously this is a closed can. It takes her about four days to eat an entire can because I only do it wet food once in the morning for her breakfast and that's just a scoop um, in a bowl. So I store it in this um, glass tin, glass tin, glass container that has a plastic lid and it's pretty much like the perfect size for the can to fit in. And I put this aluminum foil over it which was actually secondhand aluminum foil. Um, I ordered a sandwich and it came wrapped in foil. So I was able to save it and put it over this. Um, I'd say about half and half of what I have for Zero is um, second hand products, um, reusable products because when I was buying her cat box I didn't want to get that second hand because you know diseases can be spread via feces and I just wanted a new one just to make sure she was safe. But kitty litter because that's a huge component of owning a cat. Um, I've had cats pretty much since I was four and you know there's always a distinct smell of cat litter even if it's scented, non-scented, odor masking but um, this honestly it's less than two dollars it's called Kitty Diggins it's fragrance free cat litter um, it's for allergenic and sensitive cats um, I just got it because it's in this paper bag which is compostable and recyclable but this is honestly some of the best cat litter I've ever used in my life. And uh, plastic free container, it's affordable. Um, it's at a store that most people have access to, which I really enjoy. Um, and I just, when I'm not using it, I put it a clip on it and I put it under the sink in my bathroom. Her crate I got at a thrift store. It's called Red Racks. There's quite a few of them where I'm located, but I don't know how wide of a chain Red Racks is. Um, the, the crate said as is, but I haven't seen any problems with it. I brought it home. I washed it, um, sanitized it the day, a couple days before I went and got her, and I just put a blanket in it. For Zero's absolute favorite toy wasn't even a cat toy and I got from my friend. Um, this used to be in the form of a ball, um, but after many clawings it is no longer. Um, and it came from this like poof ball um, garland that's available on Amazon. And my friend had it to decorate her apartment last year when she adopted a cat. And her cat decided, no this is my toy now, and her cat loved it. and. Um, she gave me some. This is a second hand product because it's from my friend and my friend's cat and it is honestly like the best cat toy I've ever seen. I have some more second hand cat toys. I think this is a dog toy. Um, that also came from my friend because her cat just wouldn't play with these. Um, this mouse 
actually squeaks. Cats, cats pretty much play with anything, so I have some paper that um, printed very badly. And I, this is, I think it's the green that makes this paper her favorite paper. Um, and I'll just throw it around and right now she's playing with it. Um, so that's like something that's easily reused. Um, if you have like a to-do list, so that's what I just did with that. And then um, if your cats are ever done playing with it, it's a nice little compost right there. Um, and then this pen ran out of ink and she decided it was a toy. I've also had um, a couple different products like this like Starbucks thing, the cardboard Starbucks things that she likes. So this was the um, robber bag in my low waist Halloween costume that I just like cut up into little like octopus and this is also one of her favorite toys. Um, it went from a reused item that was a costume to a cat toy now and um, some more like scrap fabric that I just tie into like weird little knots that she really enjoys. So I have a bunch of that. So Zero is kind of high maintenance in the fact that she doesn't drink still water. So this is a product I did have to buy. Hello? Hello? She also doesn't really understand it and plays with it, so usually there's a mess to clean up. Um, and then I just have this glass bowl for her, and then I have another one that I put her wet food in. Stop, you're getting water all over the floor! Girl. Girl. Don't go in it. Just drink it. 